What's up? Welcome back for more Let's Play Undertale. All right, let's get this going. Let's go, Mip. Tutorial, of course. Let's go the other way. And here we are. <clears throat> First, I'm gonna go to the kitchen. The stove top is very clean. Toya must use fire magic instead. Yeah, that doesn't mean the um, stove top will remain clean after all. Food can splatter and wind up on the stove top being a mess as a result. So just using fire magic isn't just going to magically prevent a mess. <clears throat> or is the fire magic supposed to clean up the mess? I, I, don't, I don't know. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. <laughs> of course. Hey character, I suggest avoiding any kind of food eating contest. Alright. So here we got a cupboard full of cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Pretty funny as we don't see any kind of gingerbread monsters at all throughout the course of the game. So <laughs> there is some light fur stuck in the drain. Light fur stuck in. What are you cooking with, Toriel? Seriously, what are you cooking with? Especially you have fur in your sink of all places. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't lose her any points with me. She's so awesome. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. <clears throat> Probably Hershey's or something. Oh, alrighty, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite book hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you. I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Um, nothing. Talk to me again if you need anything. All right. Oh, hello. Did you already hear about the book I'm reading? It's called Seven Uses for Snails. How about it? Great voice crack. Crack. Sure, let's hear it. <clears throat> Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, call me if you need anything else. What is it? Okay, we can just keep going in an infinite loop. The only thing we can is how to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. If you tried going down these stairs before doing the series of events, she'll just stop you and bring it back up here. You wish not to return home, do you not? Head of a slice hit into the ruins. One exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be good, child, and go upstairs. Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. We're leaving whether you like it or not. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. I say, go to your room. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We have to leave. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Also, whoever this Asgore is, I'm sure we can handle him. We're out of here. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. I'm the ones who look into this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. This is it! Toriel! Our first major boss fight. Check Toriel here. Attack and defense is 80. Knows best for you. 
mother knows best. And in case you couldn't tell from the um, title, yeah, the meme is she is goat mom. So basically her attack is casting fire. This could be very tricky to dodge, but I'm kind of surprised it got through that without getting hit. If her hands hit you, the attack will just be interrupted right then and there. Okay, let's try to dodge her. You can think of any conversation topics. But talking to her is not going to do any good. This attack can be kind of exploitable, kind of not. If you hang on one of the corners, there is no there is sometimes a chance where um, the attack won't even be able to hit you at all. Sometimes a fire will cl climb up the wall of the um, blocks to the sides and just climb up it. It can be kind of luck dependent, we'll say. Keeps doing nothing. That's kind of what I was talking about there, just fire climbing up the walls and your safe spot. No, I think we can hang on for a little bit longer. He's still saying nothing. And woo! Our exploitable save space! He doesn't even know how to react to us refusing to fight her. What are you doing? It's, this is basically just the crux of our attacks. To attack using fire magic in multiple different patterns. Attack or run away. Or you just survive your barrage of attacks and do absolutely nothing. Why are you proving this way? Which is... I gotta heal. I gotta, I gotta heal. Bad. Monster Candy, that should be sufficient enough. 10 HP recovery, not much. But then again, you can't exactly look at gift horse and mouth. Fight me or leave. She just keeps scribbling through her fire like that. I just look at it, it's like, what the hell are we even doing? I gave you clear instructions. You need to follow them. Stop looking at me that way. Wait for our arms to pass by and go through the strain of fire as they close down on you. Go away. If we didn't listen to you before, what do you think we'll listen now? And whoa, that fire is acting a bit erratic. And I'm doing very bad. Oh. Uh. Okay, looks like we did it. Her attacks aren't even bothering trying to attack us anymore. They're going side to side and... I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You'll just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins is the ruins are very small once he eats them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. She looks back. And heads back to her house. Um, but we did it! We managed to spare Toriel. What's that you're saying, Flyway, about this being a world of kill or be killed? Ha! 
We just proved you wrong, sucker. Let's go up this really long, unnecessarily long corridor. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world is kill or be killed. So are you able to play by your own rules? You spared the life of a single person. More than a single person. We didn't even sp kill or heck even harm any of the regular small fries. <laughs> I think you feel really great. You didn't even can't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you die you're trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely in this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. Is it my plan isn't regicide? This is so much more interesting. <laughs> my my best nightmare. Here we are outside. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Ominous. And kinda creepy actually. <clears throat> oh well. Now check this. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Which is kind of a shame because for the genocide runners. This would have been a perfect weapon to use. What was that? It's been smashed like it was nothing. This is foreboding, to say the least. And we saw you following us. I know you're behind us. Show yourself. Wherever you are, show yourself! Wherever you are behind me. In this case, that's far too far to stop anyone. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Hilarious. Ha! <laughs> the old wimpy cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be in the watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, is a human hunting fanatic! Hey, actually, there's him over there. No idea, because of this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My fur made the bars too wide to stop anybody. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It is convenient. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at the snap, it's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, 
look at all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm, maybe this help will help you. Since you're not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton to work today. A skeleton? Ha! <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Ugh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ha! <laughs> uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. That was... hilarious, actually. You ought to get going. He might come back. If he does, you have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Oh, uh, just gonna head out now. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but could you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Make some million. I'll be up ahead. The interpretation of that could go one of two ways. <clears throat> some kind of see Papyrus as kind of incompetent, whereas <clears throat> some actually see him in the camp of he is actually. It, more dangerous than he looks, but he tends not to show his full power because he's, um, too kind-hearted for that. I'm not sure I go in the realm of taking sides on that, but you remember through here, this dimensional box, it can store up to 10 different items. It is especially good to, um, lighten your load of any, um, necessary items, but in here you get the tough glove. Weapon Attack 5, a worn pink leather glove for Five Fingered Folk. This, I'm one to say is a nod to Mother 3 in particular, as the weapon Akuma Tora tends to revolve around glove and, gloves and um, handwear. That's just my personal interpretation. But, you get a new enemy, Snow Drakes! Or a snow drake, singular. Why didn't I say first? I'm an idiot. Chill out. <laughs> yeah, that's his attacks. Is, um, tossing snowballs everywhere, which actually do hurt. Attack 12, event 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Fights it fights you in cold blooded. Yeti. That's actually pretty good. We'll laugh at his joke. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. You gotta wait for him to actually make a pun first. So what you gotta do is you gotta waste a turn doing nothing. Wait for him to tell a joke and then laugh at him. That's how you spare him. Up up here, we get something rather interesting. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to it is... Then is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. I... I okay, okay. I know the saying is, plenty of fish in the sea, but this is taking it way too literally. But, hey, this is what I call fishing for a maid. <laughs> Let's set it back in. Go ahead and save the game right here, of course. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Hey, 
What was it? Box Road. Go figure. Oh. Okay, I wasn't in the video here, but, um... You get narrated by an ice cap. Not to be confused with a stage in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Attack 11, defense is 4. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Your head looks so naked. Okay, this is kind of a um, rear attack where it's kind of um, reasonable you'd expect on hospital equipment. <laughs> Let's compliment it. Inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. Compliment him again. And this too bad. There we go. His other track is just shooting ice bikes from its. Where did it even get its pipes? Ice Cap is thinking about a certain article of clothing. His hat. Yeah, complimenting him, it doesn't do a thing. So, we just gotta ignore. I have to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. Ignore him again. You're not looking at Ice Cup's hat. Yes, he was defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Uh, that's not what I call ignoring us. Goodbye. Anyway, after that battle with the uh, Ice Cap, we're gonna end things off here. Next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're gonna be exploring this new region. See you guys then.